Well, hello, my dear companions. Welcome back to Doki Doki Plus, or Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, Side Story Respect Part 2, The Ending. Hopefully, Monica can show Natsuki some respect and kind of just understand that literature is much more than Monica thinks is uh, literature. So, here we go. Grab your favorite snacks, your favorite blanket. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five. Bam. This sucks. Why is Monica such a jerk? Should be grateful that I've even joined her stupid club. It's not like she fucking find any members. Monica's usually really nice. She cares so much about everyone in the club being happy. Yeah, right. As she usually does. Maybe when she's not busy being so judgmental. So what if I'm into manga? What about just one person accept that? Instead of being so condescending about it. I accept it. I think it's cute. Come on, that's con <laughs> yeah, that's condescending a bit. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I just want to support you. I know. Thanks. This really sucks. You want me to talk to Monica? I don't know. It's not like I'm gonna change her opinion of me. Like, even if we were to con convince her to back off, that wouldn't suddenly make me feel like I'm actually welcome in the club. I just... I should just find another club. Well, you don't have to do that. You can figure this out, please. I mean, I'm the vice president, or at least I think I am. And I don't want you to leave. Everyone deserves to feel welcome and to be happy, so... I want to make that happen for you. I was wondering... What was the reason that you decided to join the Literature Club? Well... Natsuki hesitates. It's kind of dumb. Well, I don't say that. There's no such thing as a dumb reason when everyone is happy or when everyone is welcome. I wasn't welcome. You were to me, so... Let's not tell anyone, okay? Especially Monica. I promise. Natsuki sighs. I'm just tired of everyone judging me all the time. I can't enjoy any of the stuff I'm into without people making snotty comments about it. I think many of us can feel that way. Not that I care about what anyone else thinks. But you know, the Science for Literature Club says that you can be yourself or whatever. So I decided it was at least worth a shot. And that was a lie apparently. Nasuke dejectedly kicks the toe of her shoe against the wall. Oh, and I like writing too. Really? How come you didn't say that to Monica? Because she was being so judgmental that I didn't. Just wanted to tell her something she wanted to hear. She didn't disturb that kind of satisfaction. And if she knew I was into writing, then she would just be like everyone else and try to push me away from the manga in favor of the more mature thing. I think so many of us can feel this way, especially if you are into anime, manga, gaming, because uh, there are a lot of people out there who think who thinks those kind of interests are Im immature. And I hate it, I hate it. I have so many people around me at work or where I live and such that are not into those kind of stuff. And it's hard actually to express your passion for those kind of things because people can be so condescending. I know the feeling, I know the feeling. The two of them remain silent for a while. Sayuri understands that if it's it's out of the question for Natsuki to return to the club room for today at least. But Natsuki has a reason for wanting to join the club just like everyone else. It's part of the club vision for her to be welcome. You deserve to express yourself as much as everyone else here. That's supposed to be what the club is for. So, I'm going to do anything I, everything I can to fix this. I promise. Wow. You can really feel like Sayori was kind of the glue <laughs> for this whole club in the very beginning. It's lunchtime the next day. 
the cafeteria and hallways are bustling with students rushing to meet with their friends and make the most out of their limited break time. Where could she be? Among them is Monica, who always eats lunch in her classroom, but she has some additional business today. Fearing Natsuki would avoid coming to the club, Monica decides to try to find her during lunch to, so that she could make amends. After searching for an ex extensive time, Monica finally spots her. Despite her short stature, Natsuki's bright hair helps her stand out from the crowd. Oh gosh. Suddenly feeling awkward, Monica is afraid to get closer. Natsuki is with some friends whom Monica doesn't recognize and they're all energetically chatting together. It would be really tactless to just interrupt them. Oh yeah? Did you end up joining the literature club or what? Of course I joined, why wouldn't I? Haha, <laughs> told you she- Those are not friends. Come on, you know that she only joined because you, you wouldn't stop giving her crap about the anime club. I told you I never even wanted to join that stupid club. Oh sure. I have given her some credit for at least making an effort to finally grow past that trash. Trash? Well, congrats on finally graduating middle school, Natsuki. We're proud of you. Shut up, let me do my thing. Just joking. Or, or maybe that will just have a friendly banter. Once a literature club makes you fam famous writer, we'll be the first ones to buy your books. What, you gonna buy her smutty fanfiction? Well, obviously, I want a signed copy. That was like years ago. Don't think I've grown out of this by now. I told you I was joking. Besides, it's a good reminder of how far you've come since then. Not to mention, you couldn't have done it without us. That gives us a pass to joke about it. Yeah, sure. They grew up so fast, it brings a tear to my eye. Natsuki suddenly glances in Monica's direction, prompting Monica to quickly turn away and distance herself. Yeah, that sounded a bit harsh for being friends, you know? Oh, what the heck? That was horrible. I should have said something to defend her. Why do I have to be so conflict avoidant? Not that I deserve to say anything. I'm hardly better than them. After the way I treated her. I'm so awful. I'm not doing anything right. Yeah, those were not really good friends. After school ends, Monica distracts the, distractedly makes her way to the club room. She finds Yuri already inside, eyes on the book as usual. Monica picks a desk and slumps into it, something she seems to be doing rather often lately. Yuri, I don't think I can be the club president. I suck at handling anything that doesn't go, like, exactly my way. Yuri looks up from her book. It's like, the literature club is a place where you get to express yourself unless it's in a way that I don't like. I'm so mad at myself. Am I especially mad that I didn't have the self-reflection skills to realize that I was do what I was doing? So much for maturity. Sorry, I really shouldn't be complaining out loud like this. That's just like a lot on my mind. No. I enjoy listening. Really? Mm hmm. Why? Yuri shrugs. It just. it makes me feel nice. Oh, well, okay, I guess I'll just continue then. Yuri nods. Yeah. I just. well, Natsuki has a kind of a blunt attitude, you know? It made me feel like she wasn't taking the club seriously. I couldn't even figure out why she wanted to join. I saw her friends talking to her in the hallway during lunch and they were just so mean to her. Telling her to grow up and stuff like that. That the literature club, that the literature club would help her to grow out of her manga. It just made me so mad, like I just let her enjoy it. It makes me it makes her happy. Why are you trying to take that away from her? That's what you're trying to do, Monica. That's exactly what you're trying to do. And when I had that thought, it was when I came to the realization that I was kind of doing the same thing, just in a roundabout way. 
I should have made her feel good about being passionate about something, but I just dismissed it. No, I was actually trying to avoid acknowledging it at all. I even did that you did I even did that with you, Yuri, when you first joined the club. You 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 did? Yeah, I remember. Fancy isn't really my thing, so I was kind of trying to dismiss it, but when then money. But then Sayori jumped in and took over the conversation. I should have reflected on that, but I didn't, like, because I just let Sayori handle it instead. And now I'm repeating the same mistake, except I'm trying to hurt someone this time. I really try, really hurt this. I really hurt someone this time. English people. <laughs> Monica shakes her head. I'm so tired of being afraid of things I'm not comfortable with. It's so stupid. Like, I can just picture how much joy it would bring Natsuki if I let her share her passion a little. I'm so angry that her friends were treating her like that. I'm going to get them back for it. They get them back? Yeah. I'll get them back by making sure that this is the literature club that Natsuki wants, not the one that they want. Suddenly, Sayori bursts through the door, making Monica and Yuri jump. With a rare, stern face, she marches over to Monica's desk and sits down next to her. Ooh. Sayori, serious Sayori. I'm having an intervention. I can do that because I'm a vice president. Is this about Natsuki? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. I messed up. I'm super sorry. I was just talking to Yuri about it. R really? I was so dismissive of her pass passion that she felt threatened and probably just unwelcome. Literature, literally the opposite of what the literature club is supposed to be. I really need to make it up to her. Oh, yeah, I did it. <laughs> Thanks for the intervention, Sayori. I'm glad we're on the same page. Friendship wins again. <laughs> So how do you want to make it up to her? I have a plan. Sayori, do you know if Natsuki is coming to the club meeting today? She... I don't think she's... I don't think she is. I see. Monica was afraid of that. Not because of her plan, but because she's facing the consequence, consequences of the damage that she's inadvertently uh, caused. But the only way to do the right thing is to face it head on. It's so easy to just, just duck away from the conflict and wait for it to blow over. But that's not enough. To truly respect someone's feelings after you've hurt them is to face them and admit your wrongdoing. Yes, I think that's so important. You can't just hurt someone and then just make have them to deal with it themselves. You have to take responsibility about uh, for the people in your surrounding and how you affect them. Not the wrongdoing or of mismanaging the club, but the wrongdoing of disrespecting Natsuki's feelings. Okay, do you think she, you can get her to come to the meeting tomorrow? I can do that. Okay, awesome. Yuri, you don't have to worry about anything, but thank you for being my friend. You're, you're a good listener. <laughs> <laughs> Fidgeting with her hair, Yuri turns away to hide a smile. Well, I guess it... I guess for today, it's going to be a pretty quiet club meeting. I'm going to step out for a bit. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna read with Yuri. Hey, is this one Is this one of Natsuki's books? How come it's out here? So Yuri picks up a manga that was resting on an adjacent desk. Oh, that... And, oh, Natsuki probably just left it out by accident. But I thought she had, hasn't been coming to the club. Actually, Monica's been. Ooh, okay, Yuri. I'm sure it was just someone else who was used in the club room then. Okay. Monica smiles at them both. Then, with a wave, she exits the club room. I really shouldn't have left that out. If Sayori catches on, she'll definitely tell Natsuki, and that would get really awkward. Now, I wonder if there's a keyboard I could borrow from the music room. I think she's gonna stumble across Natsuki, right?
Maybe not. Okay, this is the, oh, this is the next club meeting. Okay. And borrowing the keyboard. Is this when Mika started to learn piano? The time for the next club meeting has already arrived. Monica and Yuri are the first to arrive. I'm so worried. Do you think Sayori is going to be able to bring Natsuki? Yeah. How do you know? Well, she's Sayori. Hmm. You know, you're right. Time slowly passes. Monica sits and stands up to pace around and sits again. Yuri's eyes don't move from her book. Then the door finally opens. Sayori marches inside. Behind her, Natsuki shuffles inside, nervously looking around the club or the room. We're here! Welcome back. Monica, the club president, stands up and greets them with a smile. Sayori picks a desk and takes a seat. Natsuki sits closely next to her. Awkward! <laughs> Awkward! Looking back and forth between the club members, Monica is struck with a nostalgic feeling. She would stand at the front of the club room just like this, struggling to picture just who may eventually be sitting before her. But the imagination was never enough to predict just how unique and diverse each member would be. Exactly. Each with her own struggles. Her own reasons for seeking the vision that Monica had, admittedly, so vaguely advertised. Seeking trust, understanding, respect. Exactly, we have that trust, understanding, and respect. Those are the titles of the three first uh, side stories. What new lessons will the future hold for the lit literature club? Realizing she's getting ahead of herself, Monica takes a deep breath and returns to the present. Okay everyone, the Literature Club is starting. We have an activity planned for today. Monica turns around to face the chalkboard. On it she writes MANGA in big letters. Today we're going to learn from an expert about a unique form of literature, MANGA. Oh come on! Isn't this kind of forced? I know you don't actually want to do this, so just... Monica shakes her head. Natsuki, this is the hardest part. After making it this far, it would be so easy for just smile and move on. But that's not enough, not this time. I'm sorry. It was wrong of me not to take you seriously when you were kind enough to show interest in my club. I thought about it and I realized how biased I was against manga. It caused me to res disrespect you and I'm sorry. But I think you deserve to be able to share your passion with us. So, can I make it up to you? Well, thanks, but... I know you're only doing this because I already told you to. But that, that's true. Monica planned this all by herself. I didn't even get the chance to talk to her. I was witness to that as well. This is the Literature Club. The Literature Club is a place where everyone gets to be themselves. We all have our own interests and our differences. It's my vision to let us freely express that. And it's my goal to re respect everyone for them. So I just want to learn about the things that make you happy. I think that you deserve to share the joy as much as everyone else does. Is that okay? Natsuki looks away and hesitates. But it's really dumb. The stuff I'm into. No it isn't. No, it isn't. It doesn't really... I mean, you can dip into anything. It's awesome either way that you have a passion. What kind of passion doesn't really matter. Monica smiles. She kneels in front of Natsuki's desk, looking her straight in the eye. If you like it, then it's not dumb. Yes, exactly. Oh, except for me. Say, so you're not dumb either. <laughs> uh, what the heck? <laughs> you guys are so weird. Fine, I'll show you some of my manga. Only because you admitted that it's literature after all. Natsuki stands up. Oh yeah, I didn't say this before, but I'm actually into writing too. I'm kind of a pro. But I didn't want you to like me just for that. Wow, really? I really did have you all wrong, Natsuki. 
Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Today's not about uh, today's not about that anyway, right? It's about manga, so I hope you're ready. <laughs> I think that's perfect to have one day e dedicated for each of the club members, so you, Natsuki can learn the other, teach the other ones about manga. Uh, Sayori can teach the other ones about poetry. Yuri can do her stuff with fantasy, and Monica can do her stuff with what now what kind of literature she likes. A week has passed since Natsuki returned to the club room, the club literature club. Since then, the club activities have been in full swing. Each club member had received a day. Yes, exactly. This is what I wanted. In the spotlight to share all their favorite kinds of literature with each other. As another meeting draws to close, Monica approaches Natsuki on the way out. Natsuki, are you in a hurry home or anything? Me, not particularly. Why? There was just something that I wanted to show you if you had a few minutes. Sure, what is it? It's not in here. Can you follow me to the... Is she gonna tell Natsuki about her passion about uh, for piano? The music room? Why? Will you see? Ooh, new background. This is cool. You know, I was thinking back. When the club was just me and Sayori, we would talk about how we envisioned the club to turn out. We cared a lot about being, it being a place where people could express themselves. And she said something strange to me. She said that I was trying to make the club that I needed myself more than anyone. But I think it wasn't until you joined that I fully understood that. Because you really taught me a lot about myself, like things that I was probably always too stubborn to admit. Come on, you can't mean that. I didn't even do anything. I just, I just like brought a bunch of manga and then I got fussy when I didn't have my way. It was really stupid of me to make such a big deal out of it. No, I honestly needed it. If you didn't express that you were hurt, I would never have realized that I did something wrong. Besides, your feelings are valid. They deserve to be heard and respected. It's just really hard to feel that way sometimes. You know, like, I really shouldn't care about what other people think in the first place. But when you're just criticized by every, everyone around you for being such a certain way, it can get really hard to just brush it off. Exactly. And it makes me start to feel like I'm the problem. Exactly. I've had a hard time expressing my passions to people sometimes. And... I <laughs> You shouldn't feel like that. I, I feel hesitant to tell people I, lo I love games. I love gaming, I love anime and manga, those kind of stuff. Because I know people will be so judgmental. So, some, some at least condescending. <laughs> you shouldn't have to worry about that. But I know I'm worrying about it too. It's hard to not worry about it. <sighs> yeah. Like I'm not doing enough to please everyone else. Exactly. Am I being too entitled if I just want people to like me without me having to hide a bunch of stuff about me? No, you're not. I don't think I am. I just wish that sometimes people would try to appreciate me for who I actually am. As Monica listens, she recalls vividly how Natsuki's friends were treating her and how naturally they did so. How long has she been fighting against that, refusing to change for others? I can only wish I was as strong as you, Natsuki. You're so honest with yourself. I'm like, always trying to come off as perfect for everyone. As uh, any time, there's like a hint of con contain contention. I just crumble. But it's thanks to you that I really started thinking about this stuff. You really inspired me to start working on it. But, well, like I said, I didn't even do anything. You were just being yourself. That's all you needed to do. After, and also, there's something else. Monica takes a breath. The thing is, I might have read a bit, little bit of your manga. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck? Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry, I didn't just... I, I think I just felt like... 
kind of embarrassed to admit it, after I gave you such a hard time about it. I can't believe you of all people were reading manga be behind my, my back. That's so funny. Well, I just flipped through one of them out of curiosity, but I ended up reading a whole bunch of it. Yes, some people, even if they can be so judgmental when it comes to, if it's, for example, games and anime and manga, I feel like many of them haven't even tried to read some manga, to try to watch some anime, or try to play some games. I think a surprisingly big amount of them would actually really enjoy it if they tried it and just wasn't so judgmental about it. But I mean, one of the characters was in the literature club. What are the chances, right? Her fae girls. That's her favorite. Good taste. Just one volume. And I kind of just picked it out of randomly. Well, you have a good intuition then. You have to tell me all about your favorite parts. <laughs> well, I think it was some kind of weird fate. Because the character isn't just in the literature club, she also plays piano. It's just weird because I have always wanted to learn piano. She was like the perfect person that I always wish I was if I just did what I wanted instead of always second guessing myself. Monica was, walks over to the piano and sits down. Oh! That's, a be that's beautiful art. I always felt like I should only share the absolute best parts of myself, the parts that will impress people or make them like me more. Yeah, you should be able to share even your darker, more, you know, the whole you. Not just try, try to impress people, but I know, me myself, I always just try to be my best in front of people and it's exhausting in a way. But after you join the club, I really realized how self-destructive that mentality is. We share things because we want to express ourselves, sharing experiences allow us to share emotions. And I just felt like, like I wanted to show you this, because if it wasn't for you, I never would have started playing. Yeah, I think the credit for that one goes to the Parfait Girl. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I think the credit for that one goes to Parfait Girl, not me. No. Well, maybe it's true that Perfect Girls put their thoughts in my head. But it was still you who inspired me to keep practicing every day. Every day. Because you know, you just make me feel like I, if I want to do something, I should do it. So it was Natsuki and Manga who inspired Monica to actually start playing piano. That's awesome. These side stories really add to the main story. I mean, I still haven't been practicing for very long, and I'm really not any good at it yet, like, at all. But I wrote a song for the club, and I worked really, really hard on it. It doesn't have any words or anything, but well, is it... Is it the song? Now this is another song. Oh, it is. I think this is one of the new songs for the plush, for the, for the plus version. It's really good. Oh, it's this song. Oh. This is a beautiful song. It's, it's such, a, such a beautiful song. Wow. Oh.
That's all. That was so good. It was? Yeah, are you kidding? You're like already a pro, yes. And not, not even close. Does this song have a name? You said it was about the club, so... Yeah. It's called My Song, Your Note. Because everyone brings something to in so unique to the club. It's completely different from how I first imagined it, I think. But I was like such a selfish perfectionist. It shouldn't be about me, it should be about everyone. And it's all of you who help shape the club into what it is. I would never change that. Well, I think that's really thoughtful and kind of flattering. I kind of feel like I don't deserve this much validation. I wasn't exactly very patient either when I first joined the club. It made me feel like I should probably apologize too. I think I was just really fed up with a lot of things and I got frustrated after not getting my way in the club. So yeah, I really don't make mean to take it out on you. I was being really immature. If you get my stubborn butt to apologize, I guess you're doing something right. <laughs> it's fine, I'm past it too. I think we're already even. But it's really sweet that you were thinking about it. It takes a lot of maturity to reflect on that kind of thing. Well... Well, I wonder how I got it from. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Well, anyway, we're even as long as... We're even as long as you let me keep my manga in the club. You did admit that it's a form of literature. You're Totally can't take it back now. <laughs> you got me. The closet's all yours. I'll tell you what, I'll bring a, in a little something for the club tomorrow. The cupcakes. I want to do something nice in return. What kind of little thing? Oh, you'll see. But I don't think you'll be disappointed. Are we gonna see the cupcakes? The next club meeting ends up uh, being a particularly tasty one. Oh, that it ends there. Oh, wow. So good. So good. Hope you enjoyed it. And the next, which one will be the next? Let's see. Balance. Natsuki and Sayori. Hmm, that's interesting. That's interesting. But yeah, hope you enjoy. Leave a like, leave a favorite, and tell me in the comments down below. Tell me one, one. You can tell, you can tell me several. Something that you are really passionate about. Tell me in the comments down below, it can be a hobby, it can be an interest. Tell me in the comments down below something you are really passionate about. And maybe something that you feel a bit afraid of sharing with most people. Uh, tell me in the comments down below, I want to know what your passion is. And never ever forget to stay awesome. I'll see you soon. To the loo. All the ways you blow my mind, yeah. People know.